So this is EMW control board I'm using the Arduino uh, Pro Mini in the middle. Um, it's a pretty much regular assembly, um, no specific uh, gotchas here. Uh, the only couple of things uh, to note on this board are the following. The um, Arduino uh, mounts through the female headers placed from this side. The LCD screen mounts after all the components on this side are mounted. The LCD screen mounts from this side and also the buttons the three buttons mount from this side as well but only after all the components are placed on the main component side so let's just do that the first thing to do is to prepare Arduino for mounting this is how it will look when you get it these are the female headers that you will also get so the first thing we're going to do we are going to put the female headers on the Arduino and for the uh, two pin version inside here, uh, what you would use is this four pin header. Just uh, remove two pins, it's very easy from the sides, like that, and put it onto these two pins here, just like that. Continuing with the 12-pin uh, header and finally the 6-pin header on top, like that. So now it's relatively easy to insert that into the board. You might need to press in a couple of places, but I promise it will go in. So here it is, it's in. What you do now is turn over and solder. Here it is, solder it in. So now we can remove the Arduino itself, just uh, see how easy it, it was. So this part is done. Next thing is just we're going to put all the components in and sort them together. The easier part is actually to um, put the um, all the male headers in first so that you can then turn this over and the headers will be held by the surface you put it on. So that's what you're going to do, you're going to solder the uh, male headers next. So, like I said, put all the headers in. So these are all the male headers, all inserted. Put some flat surface on top. Take both boards, turn them over. And now you can solder all the pins. Okay, so here we placed all the components. Please note that these are all the required components. These are the only components that are required. So uh, you will notice that a lot of the spaces here are not populated on the board. These are reserved for future use or um, are just unused in this version. Um, and the only other components that you would need to put on this board are from uh, the other side to be mounted from the other side and that's why they're not yet here and these components are the following the two buttons red and green or red and black you might get different configuration this is the um, SPST switch with latch and the um, little cap for it and the LCD that's it so just take a look and refer to this picture for what components are really required uh, for the charger operation. So just as with driver board, we have a lot of uh, leads on the other side and we are going to start soldering now. Okay, so this entire side is now done. 
on the back, everything is soldered together. So we're going to start putting um, putting in the back side. The buttons are marked on the side of the board. So this one says D6R red back. This means red button goes to the back. The orientation makes a difference as well. So this little flat portion of the button has to be uh, vertical relative to the board, like that. The green button goes on the other side, right here, and again in the same orientation. And we have some solder here that we'll need to clear first. Okay. So once it goes in, it goes in in the same orientation, only I need to heat the pad here. Okay. The last button is this uh, SPST button that will be used to switch on and off the display during the programming. So it goes in like this. Turn over and solder. So last thing here, with the control board, we are going to um, assemble the uh, LCD as well. So it goes from the back, it mounts into this connector here, and it goes in like this. Okay? So the only thing is that it does not go all the way in about one or two millimeters um, you would need to pull it out about one or two millimeters and hold it like this the best way to do it is to put some spacer between the LCD and the PCB here so what we use is um, just a little isolator or a few sheets of paper that you can put in between or a business card or whatever it is so let's uh, let's try this Here's a piece of um, <clears throat> rubber isolator, uh, one and a half millimeters or so. So we're gonna put it here. Gonna insert the LCD. Okay, so now it sits flat to that. And we're going to solder one pin, just one pin. Pick one of the pins that are easier to solder right here. Okay, that's done. The reason you use just one pin is that after you solder it, you want to look at the um, alignment of the LCD and make sure it's absolutely parallel to the board. If it's not, then you might want to adjust it a little bit before you solder the rest of the pins. So we are actually not quite parallel, so we're going to bend a little bit when you have only one pin soldered so far it's actually easy to do once you have more than one it's very hard to do okay so let's see a little bit like that a little bit that you can now actually lose the um, the isolator that you put in Later, it's a good idea to put it back in, but for now, uh, for most flexibility, we want to lose it. Okay. Okay, so it looks great. Looks great. It's all flat and parallel. Okay. So here is parallel. Looks like this. It's parallel, looks like this, and we're going to solder the rest of the, um, of the pins here to the board. So it's completely soldered. This thing is absolutely rigid once you solder it in. Okay, you just can't move it. Okay, uh, don't try too hard, you can break things off. Uh, but this is, this is a complete board right here. Last thing is, let's reinsert the, uh, the Arduino back in. This is it. This is the complete control board. 
which is going to control your charger. One of the things that you can try to do is to uh, power it up and see what happens, but this is not really required at this stage. You can do it later uh, when we power up the uh, uh, part of the charger and you will see that it works. Okay, so this is a control board fully assembled. Next thing, we are going to start assembling the charger to the enclosure and putting things together.